Jan Kiernan, um, coming into another Ireland campaign, probably enjoying your football, really, really an awful lot for the first time in a long time. You seem playing with a smile on your face. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm really enjoying the culture in Liverpool, the team, it's great. It's nice to be around some Irish people too, like me, Fahey, Megan Campbell. Just really enjoying it, yeah. In terms of yourself, obviously you've had a probably a bit of a rough last couple of years, you know, probably haven't played as much as you would have wanted. But Mappy here just obviously brought you to Liverpool from West Ham where he was there and shown a lot of faith in you. Exactly, and I feel like as a footballer it's a big thing that a coach believes in you and he's really brought out the best of me so far, so I'm hoping to keep it up. Scoring goals, the one thing we always want as a footballer. You know, he gave me the number nine shirt and there was a bit of pressure, but that's what I'm here to do and hopefully I can keep doing it. In terms of you personally, obviously you've had a bit of a tough time with football. How nice is it just to be, you know, everything's concentrating on football, nothing, you know, you haven't got the distractions of injuries and stuff like that where you've maybe had over the last couple of years. Do you know what, it's just like life, isn't it? It throws things at you that maybe you don't want, but um, it's about how you come out the other side and I feel like it's going well so far and I definitely, I won't take advantage of that. I'll stick to what I'm doing and keep up my prehab and everything to just keep them injuries away but yeah it's going well so far and I, I'm definitely very grateful for it. Coming into that last camp you weren't originally named in the squad but you were brought in when players pulled out and you could see you coming onto the pitch you know even in the warm-up how much it meant to you just to be back? Yeah I feel like um, some people don't realise that how it feels to play with your country and what people like us would do to put on the Irish jersey to represent us but no it's been brilliant and listen Ireland um, Ireland's a big dream of mine from a young kid so I love representing it. Is it fair to say we've got the Leanne Kiernan of old he used to play with Shelburne he used to play with no fear back play you know that sort of in, in joy and in dubious you know Leanne who's always running and knows knows where knows where the goal is. Yeah well um, let's hope it, let's hope she's back. Yeah I'm feeling great anyway and I'm really good at myself. Personal life's great. Get to see my family a lot now now that we're kinda out of COVID a bit, which was always always very helpful when you're away from home. But um everybody's been very supportive throughout the years for me and I, I really appreciate them. You've also got the Irish contingent at Liverpool. I know Megan Campbell's injured, but you've got Neil Fahey who's always there to throw an arm around you as well. Exactly, and the, the crack is good over there. The all Irish crack, it's very good. <laughs> and how's how are you enjoying life actually in Liverpool? In Liverpool itself, you know, it's a big diff bit, bit different from London. Yeah, it's um it's much smaller than London, but um it's definitely more my vibe. Obviously, I'm brought up in the country. I'm not far from the beach, countryside, New Yorkshire. So like, I can't complain. It's really it's definitely more my vibe at the moment. Liverpool. Sweet this week, Georgia, Georgia then next week, it's a busy busy week but you wouldn't really want it any other way with two big qualifiers. Exactly, I just got asked over there a few minutes ago like what is it like playing the big teams, you want to play the best teams, like you want to put up that competition side and just like really go for it, so um, we'll have a game plan come the week and we're really looking forward to it. Katie talked about in the press conference earlier about the sold out sign being up on talent and how much that gives a buzz. Obviously, there'll be a good, good, good crop of the Kiernans will make the trip down, give you that support as well. It's madness. These tickets are going like gold dust. I'm telling my dad, listen, you need to, you need to give me the names in a week in advance. You know what I mean? Just to get in and to get a seat in there, which is brilliant to see. And like, it's been a long time coming, but listen, shout out to the likes of Gara Media Guy and everything else because they're doing brilliant at really getting the women's game out there on the map. I remember the day of the FA Cup final with West Ham when you lost to Man City. I remember going and meet, met, meeting up with your dad that morning in, outside the stadium with, with Brian Mackey and your dad going to collect 30 tickets because there'd been a last minute order, people flying in left, right and centre just to come and, come and watch it. No matter where you play, you always get the support from your friends and family. Exactly, and I feel like that's a big thing. Um, I feel like I've got this far so far because of the support system I have around me, good friends, good family, and um, I, I can't complain. It's really something that I really am grateful for. Brilliant, yeah. Cheers. Thanks for your time. Great. Thank you, Aaron.